Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Style Revival. Today we are going to be reviving the 1920s. The 1920s signified a true fashion revolution for women. Fashion became a lot more loose and comfortable, much more like sportswear, and just made for comfort and practicality as opposed to the more rigid fashion that was popular before. It just provided a lot more freedom of movement. And in the 20s, actually, women adopted a lot more freedom and spirit as well. It was a time of change. And not only did the fashion change, skirts became shorter, waistlines became wider, but also the hair changed. Obviously the 20s are very much marked by uh, significantly short hair on women, bobs and like very short kind of page hairstyles. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that hair didn't require a lot of upkeep because although short, 20s hair had to always be perfectly styled, preferably in curls and finger waves, of course, but also it could be straight. You had those kind of very popular hairstyles with the little flick of the hair forward like that, just bobs, short hair in many different shapes and sizes, but I think the most iconic 20s hairstyle is the short bob with the curls and the finger waves. So the 20s, once again, are a time period which I feel like is pretty modern already, or it is not that far removed from our modern day fashion, so I feel like you can get away with pretty authentic 20s before it starts to get weird to us. So I am going to go a little bit more authentic again today, so there's going to be a little bit more of a historical look than really a modern look, although I am pulling in some modern elements of course, but as always feel free to make this more or less historically accurate, whichever you prefer. So 20s makeup of course is something that is very iconic to us nowadays. I think we all have a very clear image of what 20s makeup looked like. It is uh, represented in media often, it, it does return on catwalks pretty often as well and it is just something that is still very fresh in our memories so I am going to adapt the 20s makeup just a little bit to make it a bit more modern and especially less flappery and more kind of casual 20s so let's start with the makeup look I am going to begin as always by applying a layer of foundation and concealer so I'm gonna apply some foundation to even up my skin tone and then go over with some concealer to cover up my dark circles and any spots that I may have Blend everything in nicely. And then I'm going to go over with a thick layer of powder. I'm going to powder this off like there's no tomorrow. But 20s were quite a powdery era when it comes to makeup. So yeah, don't be afraid to use a lot of powder. Make sure all the shine is gone. So eyebrows. Eyebrows were very thin in the 20s. Not 30s thin, but like we're getting there. So uh, I am going to just take a eyebrow gel and I'm going to comb the top of my eyebrows down and the bottoms up so that I get as thin of an eyebrow as possible to kind of simulate the narrower 20s eyebrow. And then I'm going in with a pencil eyeliner and I am going to draw this on the outer half of my eye or about half to two thirds of it and do the same thing on the top and bottom lash line. And then I'm going to take a smudgy brush and I'm going to smudge this out inwards. So I'm going to drag it into my inner corner. And this is going to create a little bit of a, a smoky smudged eyeliner. And this is going to help give that kind of 20s dark rimmed eye look without wearing the heavy eyeshadow we see often in 20s inspired costume looks nowadays. Because we do want this to be wearable. And plus your everyday woman wouldn't have worn dark eyeshadow on a day to day basis in the 20s either. So moving on to eyelashes, I'm going to curl my top eyelashes and apply a thick layer of mascara. Just two or three layers. The 20s were all about the lashes and I'm going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes as well. And that is the eyes done. So the last thing is the very iconic lip shape, of course, the very sharp cupid's bow of the 20s. I am going to just accentuate my cupid's bow a little bit. I'm going to draw a heart shape first with a very sharp kind of center on the dip of my cupid's bow and just line the rest of my lips as well. I'm using kind of a dark cherry red lip liner for this. And then I'm going to fill in my lips with a darker red lipstick, kind of medium red. And then I decided to just go back and make my cupid's bow even sharper. So I'm adding just a little bit of a pointy shape on top there to give that true 20s feeling. 
And there's the makeup done. So it's a little bit of a casual makeup, but you can definitely see the 20s influence in there. So moving on to the hair. Now, yes, we are going to have to do a faux bob for this. <laughs> Let's just get started right away. I'm going to divide my hair into a top and bottom half by making a parting just behind my ears. And I'm going to clip the top part away for now while I bun the lower part. I'm just going to create a tight little cinnabon as kind of small and flat as I can get this. And I'm just going to pin that away and I'm going to completely leave and ignore that hair and just work with the top half. This is going to make it a lot easier to do my faux bob later on. So when the bottom half of my hair is pinned away, I'm going to let go of the top part and spray my hair with a heat protector. So then I am going to take a rat tail comb and make a deep side parting, which is going to start from right above the arch of my eyebrow all the way back down the length of my head. And I'm going to start by sectioning away the front section of hair. Make sure I keep that separate. In the meantime, I'm going to just curl all the rest of my hair. I'm using a small curling iron. I believe this is 13 millimeters. I wrap a section of hair around it. And when it has heated through, I'm going to take it off the curling iron, pinch it into a little curl and pin it to my head. And this way I'm going to kind of simulate the look of pin curls later on. So I'm just going to allow all of my curls to set in a pin shape like this. So I'm going to go all around my head and I'm curling all of the hair away from my face for now. And then when I have done everything and I have come to the front part that I've clipped away, I'm going to take the clip down and this I'm going to curl very kind of precisely. And I'm going to make sure to curl everything in the same direction. And I decided to curl this towards my face. So when I have curled everything, it looks something like this. And now I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to completely cool down like this. Spray it with a little bit of hairspray first to make sure it sets nicely. And then just give it as long as I can give. When I come back and it has all cooled down and set in this shape, I'm going to take down my pins and start working on my hair. So I'm going to start with my finger waves first. So when I have taken down all of my pins, I am going to go over with my comb and just comb this down until pretty much where my ear is. And I'm going to leave the curls at the ends. And with the top here, I am going to start making my finger waves. Now, I am really, really bad at doing finger waves. I just cannot get this right. <laughs> so excuse my very messy and sloppy finger waves. I am going to start by going in with a little bit of hair mousse. And I'm going to spread this over this front part of my hair. And this is going to help me set the hair later on. Then I'm going to take my comb and I am first going to comb my hair forward. Then I'm going to place my finger over it, hold it down really firmly, then comb my hair back up again, hold it down there as well, and comb back down. So I have created a little wave, and then I am going to replace my second finger by a clip. Like that. And then I am going to do the same thing again. So comb, so hold this, comb down again, comb up again, and then replace that with a clip. And then I'm going to place these other clips on top to kind of create that very sharp edged type of finger wave that you sometimes see as well. It makes it all look a little bit more prominent. So I'm just placing those clips there as well in the kind of dipped part of my curl every time. And then I am going to spray the whole thing with hairspray and move on to the rest of my hair. So I'm going to take all of my pins down. Then I'm going to brush the kind of bottom parts of my curls. And now it's time to create my faux bob. So it is really simple. I'm just going to gather all of my hair, all of my curls. I'm going to kind of turn them under so that I just have the kind of outside part of my hair. And I am going to pin this to that little bun that I created earlier. And because the hair is curly, it's going to be really easy to hide that this is not actually short hair. So just stick in some bobby pins, use however many you feel is necessary until the hairstyle feels secure. And I usually like to leave the front pieces out and just pin those later on. This is again going to help me make it look more real, realistic. So I like to pin the front pieces a little bit more forward, as far to the front of my neck as I possibly can. And the hair that is coming out of my finger waves, I'm just going to leave down because it's short enough. So then I decided to take a little bit more mousse and smooth down the other side of my hair as well. Um, you don't want this to be too poofy. 20's hair was quite sleek and kind of flat. So if it's too poofy, just smooth it down with a little bit of mousse. And then I went over with some hairspray and that is the hair look completely done. Now for the clothing, today I decided to go for an outdoor look. Winter is coming and it is getting colder and colder and I feel like the 20s outdoors look is just fabulous. So I am wearing a skirt which hits just around my knee length-ish 
and I'm wearing a pleated one. You can wear a pleated one or a not pleated one, as long as it's not of this length and straight. The biggest thing about Tweety's fashion is that the silhouette is just straight. There's not really any feminine shapes going on, so just straight. Sleeves, either no sleeves or long sleeves. Were worn back then, you had some kind of short sleeve dresses as well, but the most iconic kind of look is either long sleeves or no sleeves. But I'm actually wearing a coat and you can actually see loads of photos from the 20s of ladies wearing these beautiful coats with gigantic fur collars. Now, of course, uh, first and foremost, I want to encourage you to always wear faux fur when possible. So I'm obviously wearing faux fur here as well. I'm just wearing a black felted coat with this beautiful faux fur kind of scarf, which gives that very kind of luxurious and warm look of the 20s. And then I'm wearing some gloves with fur rims as well. And this is going to make it look like my coat actually has um, fur trimming around the sleeves as well, which was very common in the 20s. I don't have that on mine. So this is going to kind of fake that look. And then I'm wearing this hat, which is actually an authentic vintage hat. I do believe it is from the 30s, but I'm not entirely sure, but it works for the 20s look. So I'm rocking it. It just gives the whole look that very vintage feeling. And when you're going for 20s, you want to wear one of those hats that kind of comes down over the eyes a little bit. It's a very kind of low hat. For the shoes, you can get away with a lot. I am just wearing flats here. It is the kind of simplest shoe shape that works for a lot of kind of revival looks, but it works especially well for the 20s as well. So there is your head to toe, 20s inspired, but still wearable nowadays modern look so i really hope you enjoyed this episode of style revival if there is any period you are really looking forward to me doing please leave it down below so i can you know know what you guys are looking for if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more videos of this type if you would like to support me on patreon i will have a link in the description box thank you so much i will have another video here that you may also enjoy you can go watch next thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next video bye